Let me tell y'all something real quick, man. You are on a battlefield. This whole life is a battlefield. Now, what is a battlefield? Nigga, it's war. This is war, bro. A lot of people like to say that you versus you shit. Fuck that, bro. It's you versus everybody else because everybody wants your spot. Everything you think of is a tool used by your enemy to destroy you. Everything, whether that be these niggas talking behind your back, whether that be people trying to shame you for trying to do better in life, whether that be niggas talking to haters, that's another tool. You got to think about it, bro. You got to use your mind, bro. You got to use what God gave you to make it out this battle, out this fight, bro. If this is a fight and this is an active battlefield, don't you think his mind's out there on the field? Don't you think you got to carefully walk and really look and use your fucking mind so you don't get blown up? You have to, bro. This is a battlefield, bro. In your field of expertise, whether that be your health, whether that be trying to get wealth, whether that be school, whatever it is, bro, you fighting something or someone. Everybody going through something and everybody got to come up. You got to think about it. Your enemy will use niggas that, 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 that. And I got to whisper because, cause, cause, you know, you always listening. Your enemy will use people that, that you don't even know will be against you and really use them to try to destroy you. And it's real shit. Family members, cousins, uncles. Everybody is fighting. Everybody is in this fight. And if they ain't with you, then they against you. Whether they say little shit to try to tear you down, hurt your feelings, whatever it is, try to steal your confidence, it all play a part in this fight, bro. It all play a part. This shit is a battle, bro. It's not you versus you, bro. It's you versus the world, and you got to overcome. You got to succeed. You got to win. You got to beat all the odds, bro. That devil character is a motherfucker. He is what he is, but he really cowardice. He really weak. And you got to be smart. You got to use your mind, bro. Think about it, bro. I want you to... I I really want you to picture everybody that shitted on you, right? I want you to picture everybody that shitted on you, everybody that that bitch that cheated on you, the girl that 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 tried to that turned you down, the 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 cousin that 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 t stole from you. I want you to envision every single person, bro. The people you done lost, right? I want you to envision every face in your life, and put them in a category. Once you do that. You go hard as a motherfucker, bro. You go hard, hard, hard. And I'm not talking about fighting these people. I'm talking about winning the spiritual battle, the battle unseen. You lock in on your goals. You put them people in that category and you remember, okay, this person is over here on that side or this person with me. And you put them in that category and you work hard as fuck, bro. But you got to remember, if these people is in the, on, the, on, on the enemy category, they can't come around. Got to start keeping your distance. You got to start moving and maneuvering with your head. Because if you don't, your shit going to get blown off. It's really that serious, bro. It is. Or you ain't going to make it in this life, bro. A lot of people watch me because y'all want to take care of your health. And I know that because you shouldn't. You wouldn't have clicked on this video otherwise. Whether you a fat ass, excuse my language. Because I got to tell you, the truth hurt and sometimes it do. But it's the truth. Whether you obese whether you skinny and scrawny, whether you whatever, you clicked on this video for a reason because you want to get better and that's why you're here and that's why we need to stick together. Use what God gave you to overcome, bro. He used your mind. You could talk yourself out of any situation. You might be obese and that's cool. It's cool. I want you to remember every face, everybody that talked bad about you and use that shit as fuel. Use it as fuel to come up in the game, bro. Because they don't want you to win, bro. They don't want you to win. They don't. They don't want you to win. They your enemy. You got to overcome. I want you to think of this analogy right here, bro. Think of a bum on the street. Hobo. Homeless person. Think of them on the street, bro. Everybody just walking past. And then you got a couple people that give them that dollar. That's the people on their side. That's the people that want to see them succeed and win in life. But everybody else, they walking past. You got some niggas that even pull out the camera and start picking on a hobo bum. Make them sing and dance and do all this humiliation ass shit. These people is really evil, bro. 
They'll pay you, but they'll do evil shit. You got to think of it, bro. It's, it's, it's way deeper than just the surface level. It's, you got to use your head. You got to be smarter. I'm way smarter than that, bro. Feel me? But think about this hobo. Put yourself in a hobo's shoes for a second, bro. Everybody just walking past you. It's cold as fuck outside. Nobody want to see you win. The only person that need to win, the only person that want to see you win is you. And how can a hobo get himself out of homelessness? How can a hobo get himself out of poverty? How can he how can he overcome this, this situation by using his fucking mind? He got to self-talk to himself. He got to use his mind. He got to be smart. No, I can't go in them areas. I can't kick it with them people because they're going to have crack over there. I can't go over there. I can't do this. I got to stay away from this area. I got I to gotta be with them and I got to get a job. I got to do this. You got to use your fucking mind to overcome, bro. You got to think yourself out of this situation, bro. You have to. Even with the fitness goals, bro. It's more It's more mental than it is physical, bro. You have to use your mind. As you working out, nigga, you should be thinking about each muscle group that you're targeting. Okay, chest. Chest. Oh, yeah, I got to hit this part right here. And as you're doing the, the certain exercise movement in your mind, you should be thinking of the muscle group that you're targeting. So you can target that muscle. See, you can't just be walking out here willy-nilly. Yeah, I'm working. I'm, I'm going this direction, but I'm working towards it without thinking about the direction that you're going at all times. You can know that something that you're doing is setting you up for the future, but if you're not thinking about it while you're doing it, then what's the point? How you go get there for real? It's the same way we're working out. It's the same way with anything. If you go go hard, you got to go hard intentionally. You got to intentionally go hard. Your mind is a powerful tool, bro. And that's why the name of this channel is S&B Fitness. Spirit, mind, and body, bro. It's one, bro. Your mind is what's going to get you there. Let alone your spirit and your body. The result of my body, y'all see me flexing on these cameras. Y'all see the way I look. I look good. I look ripped. I look cut up. I look strong. I can lift heavy shit more than my body weight. I'm only 140. I'm lifting like 150 in the gym. <laughs> 160, 225. At 140, I could do that though. 145, I could do that though. Because it's mental, bro. I'm telling myself, bro, man, what? You can't hit it. Man, hit it. Get it up. That's what I'm telling myself in my mind. I don't need no motivation. I don't need nobody standing over my fucking shoulder. I got to do it myself. It's me, bro. It's you versus the world. It ain't even you versus you, bro. You got to be on your team. Because who the fuck else going to be on your team? It's you versus the world, bro. And the only person you got in your corner is God. But God up on his throne. And he sent you down here to fight a bigger battle bigger than yourself. Because he know that you can handle it. And you going to come out on top. And it's going to make you a great warrior. God is intentional. And you got to be intentional also, bro. Use your mind. Use your mind. That being said, man, like my video, bro. We coming up in the game. We about to hit 1,000 subscribers before the end of this year, bro. If you want to be entered into a giveaway raffle, like, comment, and subscribe on these videos and show love from each video. On each video. And I'm giving away that first YouTube check to whoever. A lucky viewer, lucky subscriber, a lucky supporter. And you, I don't even call it luck. I don't think luck even is this, bro. Somebody that deserves it. Somebody that God want me to give it to. I realize and I feel like God go put that person in position. I'm giving away my first YouTube check, bro. So help me get paid. Just that simple. Help you get paid. It's just that simple. You can share these videos. You can like or comment on these videos. Whatever you got to do to spread this word. But we better, we better stronger together than ever. Feel me? Jesus Christ, the way, the truth, and the life. And I'm out, bro.